Hello, welcome back to Matt and Games, and today I have a new series for you. So, in my collection, I have a massive, massive pile of official Nintendo magazines. Now, these date back from the 2000s to I think when they finished. So, each month I pick out a random magazine from that month, um, and we'll go through it and see what they have to offer. It's very nostalgic for me to look through these. So, this one is. July 2005. This one is 15 years old. Now on the front it's got, I think that's Mario Party, he doesn't really say. Um, E3 Explosion, obviously this is months at E3. And I believe that's Mario Party on the front, but we'll go through this and we'll check it out. Right, third time lucky. This is the third time we're recording this whole magazine, like read through, whatever you want to call it. First time I recorded in slow mo, it was really annoying because everything was just slow like I was going, Wally, look on the next bit, like that, it's so annoying. Second time I recorded it in landscape, so it wasn't that bad, but I literally spotted it right near the start, so I stopped recording and I thought I'd do it again. So this is the third time we're going through this. This is basically an E3 focused magazine from July 2005. Obviously, E3 happens normally around that time. This year, obviously, didn't happen. Yeah, this year it did. This magazine cost £3.99, which I thought was actually quite expensive for the, this time. Focuses on Game Boy Advance, GameCube, and the normal DS. So yeah, let's go through it. First page made of a trailer from EA, didn't want that. So this is the first page I want to get to. So this is basically, for the revolution, which is what the Wii was called in its um, code name. So the revolution is the Wii. Um, Basically, they announced that virtual consoles coming to the Wii at uh, E3, saying all of these games are going to come out on virtual console. I think that's what they're basically saying. But there's so many games on here that never came out, and you can see why. So, like Star Wars um, Battle for Naboo, Star Wars Empire, not Empire, Shadow, Black, um, Shadow of the Empire, Star Wars Race of Revenge, um, Pokemon Stadium 2, Wario. Did Wario Woods ever come out? I'm not too sure. And Starcraft 64. There's, there you go, 007, GoldenEye. Um, Mickey's, what is that, a racing game from Mickey Mouse. There's a lot of games on here, which are really cool games, but they never got launched on the virtual console. So this page is quite funny because it says, all these games have come out with basically the greatest launch lineup ever, but they never got launched on the Wii at all. Which I, can't, I find quite funny. Obviously, they took it as... All the N64 games, NES, NES games, all to come out on the Wii. Which a lot of them did, but the licensed ones obviously didn't. So Conquer's Bad Fur, Fur Day. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. I can't talk, I've been talking way too long. Anyway, I thought this page was interesting. Let's move on to the next one. Some more content, blah, blah, blah. There's a survey, another content there as well. Uh, talking about Metroid. Again, this is when they announced... The Revolution, or the Wii, I guess it's called. And some cool games for that as well. Uh, so Donkey Kong 2. I was saying the last time I recorded this, I'm not sure Donkey Kong 2 ever came out. I think it did. But it's rare now because not many people bought it. Um, is that Kaiser Chief? I don't know what that means, but whatever. Some more stuff, some more content. Big in Japan, so these, um, yes, I'm not sure if you can see, they got like uh, different Mario faces on there. They're pretty cool, I'm not sure if they ever came out. Obviously, it came out in Japan, so probably did. Uh, again, big in Japan, the One Piece, Dragon Dream, some of the interviews, I don't know if it's been so Chaos Fury, the DS. Now, this is the E3 preview, this is what I announced at E3 basically. Um, had different booths on there as well, it's pretty cool. That's a layout of E3. So the first of all, I see Legends of the Twilight Princess. Now this came out on GameCube and it was a launch title for the Wii. Um, GameCube one is actually a lot rarer now, so if you have that, it's worth a bit of money. Um, and the funny thing is, this is obviously Link is left-handed and I reversed it for the Wii because the Wii was right-handed with a sword. A little fun fact for you there. Uh, more Twilight Princess. More Twilight Princess. Mario Kart DS. Now I was surprised this wasn't already out. Um, they predicted a 90 plus score for it. It's pretty cool. 
I do love Mario Kart DS. It's one of my favourite Mario Kart games. Um, Mario, Super Mario Strikers. Uh, they predicted 77 score. I think that's a lot higher because a lot of people love that game. I've never actually played it. But I do want to get it. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Again, I wish I brought this when it came out because that game is worth a lot of money now. It's really quite rare and it's meant to be a really good game. But I've never played it. New Super Mario Bros. This is when they like went back to 2D platforming for the DS. I'm not a big fan. It's okay. Um, I prefer the 3D platformers. Metro Prime Hunters. Which was weird because I thought this was already out. But it, when you got the DS originally, you got like a demo of Hunters. And I quite liked it. It's hard to control, but I really liked like a first person shooter on the DS. And of course, in DS, obviously, that did really well. 3DS was a lot better, and the Switch went even bigger and better. But yeah, that was the second Animal Crossing game, I believe, because it's obviously GameCube and then Animal Crossing DS. So I think that was, again, quite a well received game. Advance Wars, I think this was the last Advance Wars that ever came out for the, well, for any handheld Advance War game. Uh, so normally my camera just ran out of memory, so I had to back up some storage. So anyway, onto this. Chi Chi Robot, that's quite a rare game now. Um, that's quite, again, quite expensive. Not sure if that's meant to be that good, but it's an interesting game. Battalion Wars, I think that came out on Wii as well, or maybe Wii U. But I remember looking at that thinking it looked quite fun, but I did want to give that a go. Dance Stage Mario Mix. <laughs> I do want to get this game, but I think it's quite hard to get with the dance part as well. But one day I will get this. Mario Baseball, I'm not sure if the UK ever got this because it's a baseball game. Metro Prime Pinball, again, I do want to give that a go. Super uh, Mario Luigi 2, again, when I recorded this before, I said I couldn't remember the actual uh, name of this game. But let me have a look now. So I did a bit of research on the Tinterwebs, and I think this was called Partners in Time. It's Mario Luigi Partners Time for the DS. They're meant to be really good games. I've never actually played them. I need to give them a go one day. So down here's a few more. So Mario Party 7, I love that game. I think that's one with a microphone. Yeah, I think it was the last GameCube Mario Party game. Um, Mario Tennis Advance, probably good, never played it. So this is what confuses me, it says Mario, Donkey Kong Country 3 um, for the DS. I don't remember ever that ever coming out, which is a bit weird. Oh, Spider-Man, X-Men, Legends 2, Rise Apocalypse. That's not meant to be that good. That has meant, I've never really heard of that before. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, great game. Long Witch the Wardrobe. Uh, Chicken Little, for, um, there's not many decent games there. See, this is another one as well, Virtual Joe on DS. I don't remember that ever coming out. Obviously, Virtual Joe was on the GameCube, but I never remember a Virtual Joe, Virtual Joe DS game. If you do remember, leave a comment down below, please. I think it's right again, I've never them either. Harry Potter Goblet Fire. Um, I loved the original Harry Potter games when it was based around like in school and you had points for your house. But when it got into the future games, I think this one was okay. After that, it goes a bit rubbish, basically. Uh, Batman Begins, I still want to play that. And there's two James Bond games here. So, From Russia With Love and Rogue Agent. That's the DS version, actually. Um, I think the Wii and GameCube ones meant to be quite good. Russia With Love, I've never actually played. Um, I'm not sure if I have that. If I don't, I need to get that game and give it a go. Lost in Blue, that's meant to be quite good. I think that's quite expensive as well. Maybe, I'm not too sure. Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Again, Castlevania games, never really played. Never heard of that. Sonic Rush, I think it's meant to be okay. Uh, so Shadow the Hedgehog. I love how it's giving it like 80%. We think it's going to be 80%. I think that's... Um, Pushing a bit high because I don't think that's meant to be that good. Again, I never replayed really Shadow of the Hedgehog. I should replay it. Sonic Gems Collection. That's the one with the arcade fighter. Um, I've got that and it's cool because it has games on there that are quite rare. So to have that in your collection would be pretty cool. Incredibles as well. I think I have that. I never played it. And the SpongeBob game. It's not a battle for bikini bombs. So no one really cares. King Kong. Again, I think that's meant to be a good game, but I've never played it. Prince of Persia, again, I played a few Prince of Persia games, not all the way through, but a little bit, and I enjoy them, so I need to get back into them and play more of them. 
Incredible Hulk. I think that's meant to be quite good actually, that game. Or oh, Crash Tag Team Racing. I forgot about that. It's not meant to be that good. I've never actually played that one, so I need to play that at some point. I do have it, obviously. Now, him, him we go. Here we go into some reviews. Again, another Code 2 Memories. I've never really heard of this game, so I'm just going to leave that. Donkey Konga 2. Like I said before, I don't remember if this ever came out. It must have done, but I think it's quite rare now. Spin Cell Chaos Fury, it's meant to be a really great game, but this is the DS version, that's why it's got 66%. Um, also, these like, what they're reviewing, so graphics, sound, gameplay and value. Value and graphics, like, shouldn't really be a factor for um, review. I guess graphics a little bit, but value... I guess it can be put into view, but I think they don't, they don't really do that anymore. It's more about the actual game itself, more than actually how much it's worth. Need for Speed Underground 2. I love this game, but again, this is the DS version, so that's probably why it's got a lower score. Bomberman. It's a Bomberman game. Like, oh, that's pretty cool. What is that? It's a speaker? Oh, it's a multi tap. That's pretty cool. A Bomberman multi tap is pretty cool. Madagascar, Pac-Man, Pinball, um, and then yeah, so this bit's pretty cool, so this is, oh, it's just little tips for Mario World, I'm not sure what this game is to be honest, um, but this page, why are these cheats, so it has some cool cheats, um, not sure if we need to see what games they are, but got like Dragon Ball Adventure, uh, Dragon Ball Event Advance Adventure, Star Fox Assault, Lego Star Wars, Super Mario 64 DS, Mario Party 6, Mario Power Tennis, Ridge Racer, Kingdom Hearts, Incredibles, V of Joy 2. So yeah, got some cool cheats there. If you want to see some of these cheats, leave a comment down below and I can put the cheat in the comments, I guess. Then I have some more. So these are readers' cheats. So this is what readers have found. Um, I guess they're more bugs than cheats, but... Again, some cool games there, some cheats. I like this like part of the magazine, it's pretty cool. Then some more subscriptions. So, so this month you would have got a DS case, a DVD, and a Mario mouse mat. I swear I had that mouse mat. Um, I don't have it anymore, but I did have it as a kid. Then some obviously some reader mail, uh, some drawings, some stuff you can win, like some Dragon Ball games and stuff like that. Some challenges which I never ever did. Some more puzzles. Um, and I think that's about it. So it, obviously every magazine has a um, text to get these screen savers and ringtones page, which is pretty cool. And on the back, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith game, which is meant to be pretty awful. But yeah, that was the July edition. Of the Nintendo Official Magazine. My voice is hurting because I've recorded this three times now. But if you like this sort of series, um, I will do some more each month. I'll do um, a different magazine from that month. So it will be Nintendo Magazine, but so next month it will be August. I'll pick a random August magazine. Um, it might be newer than 2005. This is the first one I picked out from July. But anyway, thanks for the live video. Please give a thumbs up, new channel, watch, subscribe. Bye.